In this video we're going to look at the Illuminati game cards. I mean, we are going to look for clues of what is going to happen. Last week I made a video called Mayday where I showed you an Illuminati game card showing Russia and Mayday. Mayday is on May the 1st. May the 1st was the creation date of the Bavarian Illuminati. The Illuminati game cards are based on the Bavarian Illuminati. So on the 1st of May 1776 you had the creation of the Bavarian Illuminati. At the end of World War One was ended on the 11th day of the 11th month, 11th hour, 33. World War Two the Charlie Chaplin look-alike his death was announced on May 1st 1945 now in Russia they celebrate May Day on May the 9th so look out for May the 9th it's known as Victory Day in Russia and it combines both their Victory Day in World War two and it also celebrates the Russian Revolution the Russian Revolution was in the year 1917 200 years after the birth the official birth of Freemasonry which was in 1717 you have the creation of the Bavarian Illuminati, Illuminati on May the 1st, 1776. On that day, May the 1st, you had the announcement of the Charlie Chaplin look-alike that he was dead. The Charlie Chaplin look-alike was elected into power in 1933. His salute has the symbol HH. So, May Day in Russia is actually celebrated on May the 9th. So, my video prediction has still got to wait till May the 9th. Now, my video is my videos are about trying to predict based on the Illuminati game cards and clues like in The Economist what is going to happen I do not know what is going to happen okay so we have Victor Orban who's the head of the Prime Minister of Hungary has had a conversation with Putin where he says the war will end on May 9th so Russia's Victory Day May Day you have this card in the Illuminati game cards which shows May Day and it shows Russia and nuclear weapons so it seems to relate to May 9th the parade where they have the weapons in, in Moscow and Viktor Orban says he's, that he has spoken to the Pope and he's told the Pope that the war will end on May 9th now will it end? will there be an incident? Is this going to be? Is there going to be some kind of incident? Because in the back of background of this card, May Day, in the Illuminati game cards, you have an orange background. So this card, the date of this card, actually actually relates to May the 9th, Victory Day, which is when they celebrate May Day and their victory after the Second World War. Uh, but look at the orange background it looks like there's some kind of incident has happened you have this card which is the World War 3 card where you have the Illuminati, Bavarian Illuminati pyramid with the capstone and you have an explosion could that be a Ukrainian city now you have this card called the Meteor Strike card and the Illuminati game cards and everything is connected and we have some more clues about what 
is going to be the excuse for the meteor, meteor strike. Now I believe the meteor strike will be man-made and it will be during some kind of meteor storm that they will do this. And so we have some more information that it seems like it's going to be connected to this comet called Comet Enki. Comet Enki has an orbit of 3.3 years. It goes around the sun. 3.3 years. That's the 33 of Freemasonry. Now every 33 years, Comet Enki has a close approach to the Earth. But it's not going to come close to the Earth in these coming years. But what they say is that this comet is fragmenting. And so the Earth will pass through a passes through a meteor shower called the Taurids in October, but there could be some bigger chunks of this comet. And they say that this comet caused the Tunguska event in the in the in the early 1900s. So they blame this comet for the Tunguska event and as we have seen and as I've shown in my repetition of history that the you've had the Spanish flu repeat with the masks you have in in the early part of the 19th century you had the comet scare so people believed that everyone was going to die because the Earth would fly through the tail of Halley's Comet. You have this Tunguska event of 1908. And this, they are now saying, was a fragment of Comet Enki. And it's responsible for a meteor stream every October called the Taurids. But they're now saying that there are some bigger fragments and it's going to hit the Earth. Now, this is the excuse I think they'll use. So it, it comes, it has an orbit of 3.3 years, that's 33 of Freemasonry, and every 33 years it comes close to the Earth. And you have an annual uh, meteor shower called the Taurids. Now, you have the symbol of the swastika in World War II. Now the swastika, they believe now, the symbol actually represents a comet. So they believe that ancient people saw this comet coming towards the Earth, which was actually a fragment of Comet Enki. This is what I'm reading to you from Wikipedia. And that the swastika was an ancient drawing of a comet coming towards the Earth. So you have the swastika. That symbol was used in World War II by the Charlie Chaplin impersonator. The Charlie Chaplin impersonator came to power in 1933 and in 1933 you had a film called Deluge which shows the flooding of New York 1933, 33 Freemasonry. So it seems like we're getting more and more clues about what is actually going to happen. So you have that card of May Day which is actually on the 9th, celebrated on the 9th in Russia, which combines World War uh, II with the Russian Revolution, both linked to important Masonic societies. You have the Charlie Chaplin impersonator. His death was announced on May 1st. And you have Comet Enki, which they think that ancient cultures drew the swastika based on a fragment of Comet Enki which came towards the earth and Comet Enki they say, they are now saying caused the Tunguska event and they're saying that in now that there might be some large fragments of Enki, Comet Enki that will hit the earth in the future through the meteor stream, meteor stream. and I believe it that could be is when they're actually going to pull it off. So it could be actually soon. So we have this card. 
the tape runs out and this seems to indicate a pole shift that there is going to be a pole shift on the earth and you have an X here so is it related to planet X I have found this card this very interesting card so in 1996 they published I think 200 extra cards of the Illuminati game cards in 1996 and the tape runs out as part of this set it's called the sub genius edition now this card seems to show planet X you have a red planet here called the exists the exists with an X that seems to represent planet X you have the earth surrounded by planets it's called JHVH1 you have the earth you have flying saucers you have this fist called JVH1 here it says space bunker elder gods the exists it seems to indicate planet X because it's got an X will this be responsible for the pole shift now listen to what it says on this card so the sub genius knows that a godlike alien space monster calling himself Jehovah One is watching us and makes us dance like cheap puppets for his own insidious purposes. Depressing, isn't it? And you have the fist coming towards the earth and it seems to indicate planet X there. So what the Illuminati game cards is telling us is there's going to be some kind of event that is going to cause a pole shift. And it says Jehovah one and it says that Jehovah is actually an alien monster watching us and making us dance like cheap puppets for his own insidious purposes. Depressing isn't it? Very strange card. And one of the last cards the Illuminati game cards you have the film Deluge 1933 shows the flooding of New York 1933 the Charlie Chaplin the Charlie Chaplin impersonator came to power here you have the great dictator with Charlie Chaplin actually basing it on 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 that character you have the Bavarian Illuminati May 1st now HH, which was the symbol used by the Charlie Chaplin character, represents 88, and that 88 was on the car on Back to the Future where they travel back in time. They hit a speed of 88 miles an hour. And so you seem to have all these connections, as I've shown you, with Russia with the comet with World War Two, with the swastika which seems to represent a comet and a cometary impact and you have all the events of the 1900s early 1900s being repeated in this early part of this century and as I've shown you had the comet 1910 panic you have this Spanish flu you have the Tunguska event which comes from Comet Enki and you have the two world wars and now we're going to go in the third world war and May Day you have this card with the orange background it symbolizes Russia but May Day is actually celebrated in Russia on May the 9th which is Monday thank you